Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, this. What do we have here? Well, this is actually a camera mount for the bed of the Model Price Select Mini. And uh, so I've been doing quite a bit few time lapses on it, and because it has a moving bed and obviously a moving gantry, um, it introduces a little bit of vertigo as uh, you're watching time lapses. And one of the things that I want to do is, is really start stepping up my game a little bit on time lapses in general. So what I figured I would do is build something that would mount onto the bed. So I jumped into OpenSCAD and created up this little marvel. And uh, I kind of wanted to share this out. And I think there's a few pieces of learning here um, that I wanted to share with you guys from an OpenSCAD perspective. So I think one of the first pieces is coming down here is I've reutilized the oblong module. You might remember from a prior episode I created this, so this came in handy because this main section of the body over here is actually the oblong uh, object. And so I simply reused that. And then what I did is I actually added a, a triangle in here. now. Um, I cheated a little bit in doing the triangle because the way that the triangle was created is actually back up here if I can find it real quick oh right here we go so what I did is I just used the cylinder I used um, you know fragments equal three so I've got I got three sides to it and then what I did is if I can find it here real quick I just rotated it in the Z by 90 degrees so it fit my work plane. Now, one of the pieces here, I wouldn't call this totally parametric uh, because I, I simply didn't spend the time to do the math to make it parametric. So one of the things you might notice that in here is um, some fudge factors in the cylinder because what I did while I used the bed width up here, uh, which you can kind of see, I did add uh, a fair amount of parametric parameters up here is you know bed width is 130 well what happens is 130 is the length of this back bar or my bed on the uh, model price mini select and it doesn't quite come out because again the way that the fragments work or the way i'm assuming this this does is it's, it's not a fully formed circle being that it's only three fragments so i had to add a bit of fudge factor to to uh, fix that in the um in the cylinder to kind of make it come out to the edges and also it was a little bit wanky in, in making it come all the way out to the edge so uh, this this was enough because in short what I just wanted to do was provide some support here um, I did start out with it actually the oblong object the total uh, height of this bracket and that was sort of overkill so I decided to pair it back this actually seems for most uh, GoPro or web type cameras uh, to be more than accurate uh, or adequate sorry not accurate adequate it's early in the morning uh, to hold it so I didn't run into an issue there because I've already printed this and install it and we'll take a look at that actually after we talk a little bit more about the code now I did my typical um, union versus uh, difference uh, where is the difference well here's where I start the difference down here anyway um, so model so basically what we do up here is we we create the base, the back of the bed, we create the triangular supports, and then we call the oblong object. And then all this is baked into this union. And then what we do is we have it wrapped in an overall difference up here. And then what we do is we come down here and, and after we close out our union, it now starts subtracting things. So you can see this is the first set of bolt holes. This is the second set of bolt holes. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is, is the, the bolt holes you'll notice here. Notice the distance here versus the distance here to the edge of the bed. It is asymmetrical. The bed is, the mounting is not symmetrical. So uh, I don't know if it's just my printer or they're all like that. I don't know why they would make it like that. The only thing I can figure is maybe for the, the belt offset, which is what this little notch is for. I made it a little bit proud on each side um, because when you look at the bed of the mount of price, the actual belt loops to the outside, so I had to clear that. It's not very much, it's only like a couple millimeters and this does just fine in clearing it. Uh, so maybe that's the reason 
However, just something kind of uh, to be aware of, the mounting holes are asymmetric. And again, I set those up here. So if you go to and want to change those, um, you know, what you'll simply want to do is change the, uh, the translates on them. Uh, now I did add, as I recall up here, offsets of each one of the bolts. So you actually don't have to go into the translate code. So you see, now I go, as it says here, uh, re-bolt numbers uh, from left to right as you look down, look down from top front. So in short, as you look from this perspective, this is one, two, three, and four. And as you see, my offsets here are um, respective. Now, it's also respective of the given sides. So 10.5 and 22 are this side and then 28 and 15 are from this side out to this this edge and then this side is to this edge so just sort of a little FYI um, anyways the rest of the code is is all pretty straightforward again I've done some stuff on the actual oblong module itself in the past so I won't rehash that so I just thought this was kind of a real neat little thing it took me maybe a little bit less than an hour to whip this up uh, code up and it was really just kind of thinking more so about the design than it was coding it so it was real handy so the interesting piece here is just the reuse of the code from the oblong module which saved me a lot of work and made, made this a, a lot easier because again this piece in here is just a simple cube a simple cylinder combined with the oblong module and then oh the for the hole for the knockout which is you know designed to receive a, a quarter inch 20 uh, bolt pass through again that's simply the oblong module again called as a whole down here so I've just re uh, uh, recalled oblong as a whole and differenced it out so kind of cool how you just kind of kind of can use all these shapes and use all these modules as building blocks so tell you what I think I rambled enough about this let's hop over watch a quick time lapse of it being printed and let's go put it on the printer and see how it all works out Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install this on here. So what we need to do is to uh, simply remove these. Now these aren't very long. Um, these are actually pretty short, only probably about five millimeters uh, long and they have a little bit of a lock washer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reuse the lock washer on, on my um, mount design. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Okay, now that I have these removed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the printer up on end. And so, because this will make it easier, pushing the bed up, I think I'll probably have to resituate re the camera. Okay, so I've resituated the camera. Now, one of the things you'll notice, um, and I think in a thing of reverse model, I might make these just a tad bit smaller. Is I left these a little bit large so I can adjust it on the bed because these, these aren't perfect. And one of the things you'll notice is that the bed, the way it's, it's situated on here, is not perfectly aligned either. Uh, this set of this set of screws are closer to the edge than this set, so it's 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 asymmetrical. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take these um, 20 millimeter M3s. I'm going to put the lock washer on top, and then to keep it from passing through the hole, I'm going to put a flat washer underneath it like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this through here and drop that in there and then take my Allen wrench and tighten this down. Now I've made the bracket on the camera mount about five millimeters thick. Um, it's about two millimeters thick on the bed so it's going to stick out a little bit proud on the bottom which is okay. 
Um, and before I really tighten this down, I want to go ahead and I want to get all the um, screws in and have it situated. So I'm going to jump to the other side now and do this. And, and again, because I made these holes a little bit bigger, um, I have plenty of room to work with because one of the things that I did on the, the first version is um, I, I made them just the size of the bolt and the alignment wasn't just perfect and trying to get it just perfect, I just said, you know, what the heck, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter because, again, it's going to cinch down on the uh, washer anyway and it's, it's still going to hold it so not an issue there and it just makes life a, a whole lot easier in the design process um, so washers are always forgiving and so uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and do do this one and then I'm going to do my last one And then, as you can see, because, again, because I gave myself enough room with the holes, uh, because the holes are are aligned to the um, to their counter holes on the bed. It's just that uh, it makes it a little bit easier because the 3D printer, you know, is always going to be like a millimeter off or something like that, and trying to get tight tolerances can be kind of difficult. So, um, again, as you see, now I got this all mounted. I just want to go back and do one last pass to make sure everything's snugged up. And you really want to use, reuse this lock washer too because this this has mechanical motion and the vibration could work these screws loose. I'll spit that out. However, with the lock washer in place, it's going to keep these snugged right up because it's going to provide some mechanical back pressure. So, that's now how it looks. Let me resituate you a little bit here um, to see. All right. And then what I can do is my intention is now to take this web camera and again a couple more washers. Put this washer here and then I'm going to put a washer in the bottom. And I can tighten this up. I'll probably actually end up putting a wing nut on the bottom. Got my finger on the lens. So anyways, there you go. Now what I can do is to get, to get my focus, I can adjust this back and forth. And uh, again, the wire can just hang loose in front. And as the bed moves itself back and forth, um, it should be pretty good. So uh, anyways... Uh, hopefully you found this uh, build interesting. Hey, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, hey, don't forget our swag shop in the corner. Holiday season's coming up, and uh, always check out something there. A lot of interesting graphics we've assembled for you guys, for the maker community, uh, for 3D printers and all that kind of stuff. So check it out. Help support the channel. Hey, and also subscribe so you keep up to date. Again, the Thingiverse link for this will be down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Cheers. See you in the next video.